welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a 4th of July inspired makeup look. If you want to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. Channel. Today we are going to do a 4th of July inspired makeup look. So to save a little bit of time, I've already got my eyebrows on, which kind of looks a little funny without the rest of my face. And I've already primed my eyelids and primed my face. From the prime my eyelids, I've used the Mica Beauty Eye Primer. Mine's, all this stuff is worn off, but that's what it is. I love it. You can tell it's getting close to being gone. I've got a Nipsey bag. I love it. Um, for my face priming, I've used the Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser and the L'Oreal Magic Lumi because I want this look to be... The skin to be all nice and glowy and dewy and I'm going to put a popping highlight on because we're going to go with kind of darker eye look and I just felt like that would kind of even it out a little bit. Um, for my eyebrows though, I've still stuck with my tried and true, the e.l.f. Um, lock on liner and brow cream in the color medium brown. This stuff is great and for the price, you cannot beat it. And I'm going to go now with the Chella Eyebrow Defining Gel. And I'm going to just sweep that through my eyebrows. I forgot to do that a minute ago. This stuff is great on its own. The e.l.f. But I just feel like it gives it a little longer lasting power. And keeps everything in place. I've been in the habit of using a brow gel for... I can't even tell you how long, so we're just going to stick with that, okay? So, let's get started. Okay, now to start out the eye look, I'm going to start out with Beaches and Cream by Makeup Geek. And I'm just going to kind of run this through the crease. It's really light shade, so it's really not going to do a whole lot, but the darker colors that we're going to put on top, it helps them to blend a little bit nicely -er. <laughs> nicely -er. better. Can't talk. But that's okay, right? I'm going to try to not make this a 30 minute long video. I'm going to try. That's why I've tried to do some things ahead of time. We're going to do the Eyes Fires Foundation last because we're kind of going with some glittery shades that tend to maybe have some fallout so I didn't want that falling all over my face after we were done so I'm going to start out with the Urban Decay Vice 2 palette and Oldie But A Goodie and we're going to use the shade Shell Shock which is this beautiful silver and I'm just going to kind of use my finger because I feel like it works the best and gets the best pigmentation I'm just going to kind of pop it on the inner part of my eyelid Not really far, just on the inner part. The noise in the background is my one year old trying to get into this room. I'm sure you can hear him. My daughter and husband are trying to keep him entertained, but once he knows that somebody's in a room that he's not in, he's not having that. So, okay, I'm also going to see here, go with the shade Madness. It's kind of got a little bit of a sheen to it, but I wouldn't say glittery, but I'm going to put a little bit of that in my crease as well. You always like to tap off any excess product off of your brushes. That will help with fallout and keep everything from looking patchy. See, once you go to put it on, you can't really tell that there's really much of a sheen to that color. 
it's just dark and blue and if you don't happen to have this palette or any of the exact shades I'm going with any other similar shades will do it doesn't have to be the exact same shade This palette has been out for a while, so if you don't have it, that is okay. Mom got my little work area here a complete disaster. Now, for the rest of my lid, I'm going to go with a L'Oreal Infallible. And this one is in the shade 760 Timeless Blue Spark. And it looks like this. And I always keep these little things inside keeps them from drying out. I've seen people take them out and I'm like, why do you do that? Keep them in, ladies or gentlemen, whoever you may be. We're going to just use our finger for this shade as well and just kind of put it everywhere that we didn't put the silver. I just wanted to put that silver in the inner corner to kind of brighten things up because we're working with some darker colors and I just feel like it keeps things from being too dark. Having that nice little pop of silver in. And we will go back and blend the silver back in and make sure everything is nice and blended. Blend, blend, blend is the key. I was about to mess up. I was about to put this right back into that timeless blue spark and blend it. That would have been nice, I'm sure. Okay, I'm going to go back to the original silver shade we were using. I'm going to put a little bit of it on a brush if I can find one handy. This is just a wet and wild brush. It's just a little tiny. It doesn't even say what kind it is. But it's just real small, just a little flat shadow brush. I'm going to go back in with that silver just kind of use it to brighten things back up a little bit. We're kind of going to just kind of blend it with this also. I know y'all are probably like, oh gosh, girl, where are you going with this? But I promise it will turn out and be beautiful in the end. It's a work in progress. Let me go back to Madness RS. Basically, just popping one on and then popping the other one back on. Popping one on, popping one back on the other one. They do look pretty similar in my mirror on... I think it's maybe the lot. This one looks more silver than this one, but in true life, they look pretty even. So we're going to stick with that for now. We may go back, change it up a little bit. And I always like to just take a baby wipe and kind of freshen up the edges. I'll just go straight from my arm line and straight out. That way things don't get too messy. 
Okay. Now I've told you all I already had problems with the Lumi skin. Um, I'm going to go back to the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir. Yeah, I thought I forgot something in that. But I've been trying out this foundation pretty much every day since I did the review. I really do like this stuff. It stays in place all day. Um, even at work when I'm sweaty and stuff, it's still a nice foundation. So we're just going to pop it. I like to just pat it everywhere and then go back with the brush. My hair is a hot mess right now, but we will fix that later also. Looking her mama. I'll just pat, pat, pat. Usually, when I do my foundation, I don't already have my eyebrows on, so I'm trying to remember that I do and not mess them all up. Drag it down the neck just a tad. And I have tried this foundation with a brush and a sponge, and either way works fine for me. But I'm just going with a sponge today. It's a little bit quicker, I'm trying to save a little time. Okay, for concealer, I'm going to go with the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 15. Another tried and true. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe I should call this my 4th of July tutorial, or maybe I should try call it my Holy Grail product tutorial. I don't know. I'm kind of going with all the same things, but... Don't worry, not all of my videos will be that way. These are just things that I've like rediscovered lately and refallen back in love with. So I've been using them to death. <laughs> just gonna blend the concealer with the sponge also. Now to set my concealer, I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Translucent. I feel like we've got enough going on. I don't really need to brighten that up too much. Um, I'm just going to use my sponge and dip in it and kind of kind of bake a tad, I guess. With the same shades that I used, I'm going to go back with the peaches and beaches and cream. I about said wrong. I'm gonna throw a little bit of that under my under lash uh, 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 under my lower lash line. I'm going to go back, I guess, with the L'Oreal Infallible shade, because it's the most sparkly, and just put a little bit underneath to kind of even out the blue.
see it kind of gave it like the blue eyeliner effect on the bottom. Now we better throw something under the brow bone. I'm going to use Makeup Geek White Lies. It's a matte white. And I'm just going to put it right underneath my brow bone. I'm going to go back with my blending brush and just kind of blend the top. I feel like it's still a little bit rough. Okay. Now, I'm going to curl my lashes and we're going to throw on some mascara. I have rediscovered the Benefit Roller Lash, and I love it again. So we're gonna go back with that today. I'm gonna put this just on my top lashes and on the bottom. If y'all can hear my one-year-old screaming, I promise he's not being hurt. He's crying because nobody is holding him right now. He's very spoiled. And because my husband is trying to make dinner and he wants to eat 24-7. Okay, to contour, I'm going to use the Lorac Contour Palette. I'm going to use the shade Light Contour. And I'm going to use a Luxie 512 brush. On camera, that looks intense, but in real life, it does not. Let's get back to where we were at. Okay, for blush, I'm going to go with this Parday Tarte Blush because it's a pretty neutral pinky color, which is perfect for this look. Just one there. Got everything all over the place. Sorry, guys. Okay. I'm going to use some of this um, Clinique Chubby Stick Sculpting Highlight. It doesn't have a shade, I don't believe. Hefty Highlight is the shade. I'm going to put that just on my cheekbones a little bit. 
and then blend that out. So I'm gonna go over it. I just wanted something to kind of put down this other highlight to kind of stick to a little bit better. And I'm gonna use the Kylie Highlighter in the shade French Vanilla to go over top. That glow though, it's beautiful. Okay, now for the inner corner of my eyes, I'm gonna go back to the Vice palette and the Silver Shell Shock shade is what I'm gonna use for the inner corner. Brush in C513 to just kind of pop that on the inner corner. To kind of bring that silver all together. I'm going to bring it down a little bit to meet that blue shade. Okay, now really all that's left is to do is our lips, and of course, we're going to go with a red shade. I'm going to line my lips with the Kylie Lip Kit in the shade Exposed is what I'm going to use to line with. And I'm really picky about red lipsticks because oh, my hair got a little messed up. Red, I feel, doesn't look the best on me. I'm not one that can pull off some red lipsticks. But this red I do like. And it is one of the Maybelline Matte Lipsticks. And this one is Sil Siren in Scarlet. It's just a pretty basic red. It's beautiful. And then I'm going to put a little bit of the Kylie highlighter to highlight right above my lip. And that's going to complete this look. I hope that y'all like it. I like it. It's a little bit out of my comfort zone with the blue eyes, but I like it. I think it turned out pretty well. Um, that's going to complete it. So if you like this look, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.